good with y'all was good was good we tuning in for another video and today we about to get this thing ready i gotta go get my trailer tag too about to put that trailer to work bought it time to put it to work so about to go get my trailer tag since i got the um i wait on dj to get the van number to me Cause I actually found that's a homemade trailer cause I was looking for it, man. I was looking for the van all over. I was like, man, I can't find the van no more. So, uh, it's a homemade trailer. So I got that now. Go get the tag for that. And we about to get on this thing. I think I got it figured out. I was looking into some stuff uh, for the shifter. I got that bracket. I'm going to have to show it when I take it off. But I done seen it before. On the, I think it's the one that come with the shifter. But this is all I need. It came with the it came with the uh, bracket I bought, the brackets. And uh, this is another selector, but it'll work with the 400. It, it's shaped different. I'm going to show y'all the difference when I take the other one off. But I'm going to put this one on here. Everything's supposed to line up. And then boom, boom, we out of there. So, uh, yep, I'm about to get that done. Then after I get that done, I can bungee cord this off and set it on the ground. And uh, finish topping it off because I know we ain't got no leak. So, we about to roll with it. So, Y'all just stay tuned, roll with me. All right, we checking in. Been rolling right along. Everything going smooth. We ready. Y'all see that exhaust hung up? Show y'all how I got it hung up. I'm finna slide on the hill. Take this out the stand, cut. Looks too much on the car. All right, no creeper. Time for a new one. But, uh, let me see. Let me get back. Zip ties, man. Best thing ever. I love them zip ties. They're strong. I tried the bungee cord, but you know the bungee cord it gives some. But I'm holding y'all upside down. I'm trying to get y'all the right view. Hold on, let me. Oh look, y'all bear with me now. I'm, I'm on the car trying to get this, get this view for y'all so I can show y'all. See, that's how the bracket go. Now Hurst redesigned these brackets because you used to have to use spacers with the or B and M it one on but it bolts straight to your pan. So if you want to know how to put that bracket on that's the P and I actually didn't even have to buy this man that's crazy. I didn't have to buy this but I slick needed what came in it. Cause I already had that bracket. That's the one that you, the, the one that worked for the 350 transmission worked for the 400 and I got three of these now. So I got two more including this one. So I didn't really need it but the bracket kit I bought, I bought came with all the brackets for different transmission, and it came with this selector piece I showed y'all. Cause that's what my problem was. I don't know how it was working before, but it was in a bind, and it wouldn't give me enough thread to put the lock nut on. Then I was looking online last night, and they were like, "This one work." Like even at some and stuff, you can order this, and this is what it'll come with. It's only for the 350 and the 400 transmission. Put it on, everything worked like a charm. Just everything went like it's supposed to. So. The proper parts make life a whole lot easier. So now, let me make sure we good. No leaks. Still no leaks. Came out this morning, no leaks. So now we good to go. I gotta get on that. Cut, cut them. I know it's bright. Hold on, y'all. I have to get off on the car. But uh, whoo, whoo. There we go. I'm bring y'all back, back down to earth. But anyway, but yeah, we ready now. We ready. I'm finna pop this back in. Remember I told y'all the spring. I'm finna pop this back in and sit on the ground. And then uh, top the fluid off. And uh, today, I don't know if Jesse can't do it. I'm taking the money roll. I'm loading it up on a trailer. That cross member getting cut out today. And I need somebody to drill the holes. <clears throat> Cause the holes didn't line up over there. Or maybe it's just me. It might be just me. I ain't even gonna say it ain't lined up. Cause it's a, cross, it's a box Chevy cross member. So it might be just me. But I'm going to get somebody, either way, I'm going to get somebody to put them uh, two crop member bolts in while they on it, they're cutting the crop member. So, yep, yeah, we're going to be back on the road today. Y'all going to see me dry this thing today, unless it get too uh, too late by the time, you know, if it get nighttime. So, I'm trying to, I'm going to call and schedule my alignment appointment for tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, and I will be on schedule. I want to get everything done by Wednesday. Get the alignment done, then I can put the 26 back on. I can really start riding this thing. I'm on the same day tomorrow, which will be tomorrow if they get finished with the alignment. I'm gonna put my seat belt buckles in because they're the only thing I'm lacking. Uh, I don't have the buckles in these front seats. I want to catch Jesse before they bolted them seats in, so I won't have to. I won't have to uh, 
take them back out because those buckles are for Impala seat belts. So, and I got the Impala seat belts too, but for now, since they not in the car, I got the UD, so I got to put the buckles in. Then I can ride. So, yep, we about to roll with it, y'all. Early start, everything going to plan. See y'all in a minute. So, we back on the ground. Back on the ground with Dolo. Now, I'm about to crank this thing up. We're going to put it in the gear, see if it moves. I went ahead and topped the fluid off. Uh, I got a deep pan on here. Uh, a 400, a 400 with a uh, with a regular size pan takes six quarts of fluid. And then you know the converter. Depend on your converter size, you have to see how many it takes. But I know the 10 inch converters take uh, three quarts. They hold three quarts long because that's all. I, I've been running for the longer 10 inch converters, so they take three. So they're nine. But with mine, I got a deep pan, so you're talking eight quarts of fluid for the transmission, plus another three, so it's 11. 11 quarts, so that's why I like you need three gallons. Well, I need three gallons of fluid for this particular setup. So I'm about to crank it up, put it in gear, make sure it go forward, make sure it go back with all that stuff. So y'all just check that out. Got the trailer all hooked up. Gonna take this thing to Unc. He said he can do it today. Cause I need somebody who can do it today. Like I gotta get it done today. Got to stay on schedule. So I'm taking it down there to Joe Buddy Ray. We're gonna get this done today. Get the cross member cut out. Or uh, exhaust hooked back up. And the uh, cross member bolted down on that side. Like I said, I think it's just me. The holes are lined up. I think it's just me. I just boom boom trying to get it done. So we about to get this bad boy loaded up. The first uh, haul on with the trailer. So, yep, let me do that. And then we're going to check back in. All right. So, we got the trailer all loaded. Got it strapped down. Aunt said pull up this evening. So, we already ready to go. So, we're going to head down Joe Buddy Racing. 
get this done, bring it back home, then we'll be ready to go for the alignment. <laughs> then it won't be no more trailer unless it's going to the track and I'm really going to spray it or something like that. Other than that, I'm driving it. So, that's it. But the trailer mainly for, the trailer really for John Jones, man, when I get ready to let it eat on the radios. That's what the trailer for. And y'all know I be having my mishap, but man, I'm so glad. Feel good not to have to call nobody. Hey, can you pull this? Or can you do this and this and that? Or kick that money out? Hey, we good now. So, next clip, gonna see y'all at Joe Buddy Race. All right, y'all, checking in. As y'all can see, back home, finally. Oh, man, I did not get it done, man. So, this is, I'm not on schedule, basically. I'm not on schedule. So, I ain't going to the track. So we cancel that. Y'all know how I get done. I said, if I got to rush it, man, it still don't go with playing it. To me, that's a sign. And I'm not rushing to get no track. So I ain't no track this week. Just cause I'm off schedule. If I, um, I was off schedule. I was off schedule, really, when, uh, when I couldn't, uh, get a confirmation on if I was going to be able to get the, uh, Thing the crop member still not cause everybody busy really so like I said I was uh I had came to the conclusion to where I'll just take it to a muffler shop cause you know they can notch it that's what they do anyway you get pipes done then just be in and out but uh just had hit me and said he might be able to get to it tomorrow so we're gonna see what's going on with that but I went down I went down to the shop but I ain't I couldn't ever get in contact with Aunt so I just came on back, man. I waited about an hour and I just came on back home. Like, I can't wait. I got I got to get back and do work. I got to do other work. So we ain't get we got I got well we got the we got the um uh, the shifter hooked up and all that. We got it running, drive, moving and all that, but man, we ain't get the crawl mill and the exhaust hooked up, so we behind schedule. Cause I'm gonna schedule the alignment for tomorrow. But I can't do that now, so that pushed alignment back for Thursday. Cause if you don't, if you don't schedule in the morning, these shops be so busy with alignment stuff. If you don't schedule them in the morning, you they gonna tell you to bring it the next day. So that already pushed alignment back Thursday. Then I'd be scrambling against seatbelts. Seeing I was trying to hit the dyno beforehand to get y'all that video too, but it's just too much scrambling. So like I said, I'm gonna cancel the track trip Friday. We ain't doing that. No, no, I ain't doing that. So I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna cancel the track until I get you just go ahead and rent it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and rent the track. Cause that way, you know, I'm on my own time and all that. And you know. So yep, yeah, that's what it is, y'all. I just dropped the trailer. Boy, I should have recorded backing up, boy. It was crazy backing up in here, boy. You gotta come down, man. I have to show y'all the end of the driveway. A lot of folk won't back up in my driveway with a trailer. But uh, hey, when you got it, you gotta do what you gotta do. I got it up here, but boy, it was the show. It took me, but I said, I'm going to use all the gas backing it up. But tomorrow, the plan we're going to do tomorrow, I just left it on the trailer because when Jesse told me that, I like, I might as well leave it. I just back up to it and hook up again. But tomorrow, I hope to take it over there. And then when I drop it off, I'm just going to go practice. I'm going to get y'all that video. I'm going to go to the parking lot and practice. Either way, even if I can't bring this, I'm going to practice tomorrow and I'm going to master backing this trailer up, man. I'm going to get it. So, yep, yeah, that's it, y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. I wish we could have got what we wanted to get done, but we didn't. But, hey, maybe tomorrow. So, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. I'm out.